Welcome to video 4 of the test series and today we are going to look at the tests libraries. So we should add a dependency in our, in our app.json. Remember we are adding it through the test app. If you have not been able to reach to this point, please watch video 1, 2 and 3 before you can be able to go to this part because this is a continuation and it requires of us to first watch the first videos before we can come to these. So we add the dependency by specifying the ID of the app. How can you get to that? Just go to your application, search for extension management. Oh. And uh, confirm that it has been installed. Test libraries. Test, tests. Come on, mine hasn't been installed. <laughs> okay, here it is. Tests libraries. Make sure it has been installed. Specify the app ID, the name, and the publisher, and as well the version. So for me, the version is twenty one dot one dot zero dot zero dot zero. So you can always replace this as long as you get the major version. You'll be able to work with uh, any other test libraries just to ensure that you don't have any compatibility issues especially if you want to move your test up to another version 21 so this is the best way to write it okay um so the test libraries has been specified here in our app.json so the next step is to create a code unit i'd like to use the test libraries to create a job and verify that we have created that particular job so the object name will be jobs library and then finish it remember for our test code unit the subtype has to be test once the subtype is test we will go on and create a procedure for the test case uh, t test case by waldo and then we will say this remember it appends this data annotation of test okay given a job id when you create a job uh, verify just verify job creation and how do we get our job id we can have it as a global or a local job bueno. this is the job we already have it here we have done the job we also want to create a job task come on job task today my intelligence is misbehaving okay so we have a job and a job task then we will now need this the library so we see we have several libraries that we can be able to use to create different things here we have the job library we have even the library cells that you can be able to use to create a customer and all that and we will go forward and create a job using this library and if i go to the definition of this creation of a job so you can see that we have uh the create job which takes in the cell to customer so this one automatically creates a customer for you because this job is for a particular customer and then it will create a number series automatically for you then validate and be able to insert the job and the same job we can be able to create a task a job task <coughs> and uh, the job task will also have the detail here so our interest today is when you look at this library of job you can even create a job planning line and uh, job journal line so there are many things that you can be able to create just using this library job so 
if you're just testing a particular functionality of the application, so you run through this creation of jobs, the job journal line, maybe you are just specifying if a certain field works in a certain way, or maybe an email can be sent uh, to the customer about the progress of their job at a particular point. So is, this library will enable you to do all the creation of the job and then the tasks and the planning lines and everything so that you can only you can now focus on what you really want without wasting a lot of time to recreate this particular job. So unless it's a custom app, then you'll have to do the creation of all these lines from scratch. But if it's, a, uh, it's building on top of uh, the existing base application, then make use of the libraries. There are several, and this is what we'll use today. Okay, so we can create a job task from the job, and then we will append this job task. So job and then the job task. So what we want to use now, we need to cre use the library assert to verify. We have already done the library assert, so this is just a repetition. Okay, it's a code unit, come on. Of library assert. This line is not having suggestions. Let me just do it again. Library assert. And <coughs> we want the short form. So the assert library is here with us. What we'll do is um, confirm that the record, where is it? Is record. Is, is is there something record the record is not empty and uh, it takes in a variant so we'll just specify our rec variant to be a variant so we specify that this isn't empty the variant but we have to actually assign it to the job task so the rec variant is not empty. Do we have a problem? We do have a problem here because of this. So we are saying uh, test whether the specified record is empty and throws an exception if it is. so. If this one is empty, it will automatically throw for us an exception that it's empty. Uh, so it means if we have been able to successfully create our job and our job task, then uh, we, will, we won't be having an error telling us that the record is empty. I will build, run, confirm what we have done. We are publishing to the server. Here we are. I uh, will use this test suit. How did we call our code unit? Okay, let me get the test code units. Then um, I think it has to do something with job. Come on. Jobs library. Here it is. And uh, here is our function job create verify. And then we will run tests for all and uh, yes so it's a successful one <laughs> because the uh, variant ain't empty the variant that we have been able to specify so it means that particular job has been able to be created so you can use we can be able to use it for other functions and the test libraries are really helpful and they have several other methods like posting an invoice creating a customer, creating an item, creating a location, and they really help us in doing our tests. So that's it for this video about the tests libraries. Please do it and don't do the same example that I've done. Try using a different library. Maybe the lib cells uh, probably and try and do something different that you'd like to achieve with your tests. I will see you in the next video where we will look at the UI handlers
for the tests see you there if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one